understanding favor from God. Hallelujah. Now, listen to me, child of God. Some of you, you, you've been praying and you've been trusting God. But whenever something is about to uh, happen, you don't know what happens. It's like even uh, the human resource manager has given you a call. You have attended that session of interview. Hallelujah. But all of a sudden, you get a message in your mailbox and they'll tell you, we no longer want you here. We no longer like you here. The other day, I had uh, one of our church elders. She was narrating a story to us when we were driving, coming from somewhere. And she said that there is a man. He has tried to marry. But whenever, uh, you know, he reaches a point of arranging to now uh, marry that woman, something always comes up. And everything, either the lady will be like, uh, no, I'm no longer interested, you know, I am busy, you know. Let me tell you, child of God, you people don't really understand when it comes to favor. Favor, first of all, is divine. The favor that men give you, it is not facilitated by them. Actually, there is no favor that comes from elsewhere apart from God. Hallelujah. God can command the heavens to favor you. God can command men to favor you. So that's why we have come to understand, hallelujah, the favor that comes from God. Now, listen to me. When we open our Bibles quickly, in the book of Proverbs, chapter 22, verse number 1, the Bible says, A good name is to be chosen rather than great riches, loving favor rather than silver and gold. Favor is more precious, is more better, is more important than even money than even silver and gold that's why we have seen people rise in uh, just they, they shine for only two years but when the favor of god has been withdrawn from them that is when nobody will, will even ever talk about you nobody will even ever call you my god blessed be the name of our lord jesus christ i always pray to the lord that let favor never leave me let favor never leave my ministry. Hallelujah. Because without the favor of God, hallelujah, riches, money, gold, silver, hallelujah, big, big names, they don't really matter. That's why, let me tell you, child of God, as you are working so hard to please men, work harder that you can please God. Because people will come and they will shout your name. Oh, we love you. Oh, we cannot do without you. Hallelujah. You know, you will also begin to, you know, grow some wings. Hallelujah. I am favored by people. But has God ever spoken to you that he is also favoring you? Is God favoring you as well is the favor you are enjoying is it coming from the lord because what we obtain from god it is simply his loving favor hey uh -uh. Uh -uh. some of you you are watching me right now hallelujah stop wasting time stop wasting time sometimes even your level of praying does not prove a point in the presence of God, hallelujah. But let me tell you, if you have done something that is going to provoke the heavens to release out his favor on you, your prayer life is going to carry meaning. Your fasting is going to carry meaning. Your even giving is going to carry meaning. 
But if it has no favor attached to it, hallelujah. Let me tell you, child of God. Uh, favor is not like you wake up in the morning and you do a bait. Favor that comes from God, hallelujah. It comes fully packed. Actually, it is fully repackaged. It, it, it carries uh, the fullness of God. Hallelujah. That's why there are people here who are watching me on every platform that you are on. Hallelujah. If you truly understand favor and you consider favor only to be the favor that comes from God. Hallelujah. Don't even ever worry when people just wake up in the morning and they say, we no longer like you. We no longer, you know, uh, want you here. Let me tell you, they no longer want you there because when the favor of God comes upon your life, it is going to overwhelm them. That's why I want to encourage everybody, hallelujah, who is watching me here today, that his loving favor is more than the silver and gold. Let them continue boosting in what they have. Hallelujah. Let me just say it like this. Let them continue to boost in what they, 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 they have. Hallelujah. But if you have the favor that is so loving, he's a loving favor that is more than anything in this world. Hallelujah. Let me tell you, child of God. There are people. You have businesses. There are people. God has given you marriage. There are people, God has given you finances. Hallelujah. But have you ever woken up in the morning and asked uh, you, you, yourself a question, who is helping me to manage all what God has given me? It is the favor of God. No. No. You're not understanding what I'm talking about. I'm, 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 I'm sorry. I'm, I'm speaking to myself. Hallelujah. I'm sorry. I'm speaking to myself. In the book of uh, Psalms uh, 30 verse number 5, the Bible says, For his anger is for a moment. His favor is for life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning did you understand that his anger is just for a moment hallelujah but the bible here has explained it very clearly that favor his favor is for a, for a lifetime his favor is for a lifetime so let me tell you child of god some of you don't understand favor. It's like, you know, uh, you're so much concentrate on praying, speaking in tongues. It is not, it's not a problem. It is extremely very good if the Spirit of the Lord is leading you that way. Hallelujah. But have you ever sat down and asked yourself a question? If I want favor from the Lord, what is favor? A person who is favored for, uh, uh, from the Lord, actually. The person who is enjoying the favor from God, hallelujah. You don't only enjoy it for one year. You don't only enjoy it for two years. You don't only enjoy it for 12 years, hallelujah. You enjoy it for a lifetime. That's why their families, I'm telling you for a fact, their families that can never taste a spirit of poverty. Do you know why? The favor of God is in that family. There are families that cannot struggle. That's why, let me tell you, child of God, if you are a person listening to me right now and watching this broadcast, and you are coming from a family that has been struggling let me uh, talk about, uh, you know, struggling in, in all areas, hallelujah, maritally, uh, financially, um, you know, career-wise, and, you know, things to do uh, with, uh, uh, with this, hallelujah. Wake up and start seeking for the favor of God. 
Some of you don't know that you're already walking in favor. But all you do is to wake up in the morning and cry to the Lord and cry to everybody and tell them how much you're suffering. Hallelujah. That does not really make sense. The favor of God, the fact that God has positioned you in a place that you are in right now, that is enough to confirm to you that the favor of God is upon you. How many people are living a life you're living? How many people are eating well like the way you're eating well? How many people are dressing well like the way you're dressing well? How many people are even traveling like the way you're traveling? That's what I'm talking about. Hallelujah. That's why we should understand the favor of God. Some of you, before you get employed on that job in that company, you have been going to churches and seeking for help, for prayer, for men of God. But the time God has favored you for that opportunity, don't be foolish enough to begin despising the anointing that lifted you and took you into that place. That's why even the pastors that have been praying for us, the men of God that have, you know, spared enough time to pray for you, honor that grace. Because the more you honor that grace, there is more favor that will come upon your life. Even some people, when they come to church to, to give testimonies, you hear them saying, you know, when I came here and the man of God prayed for me. In fact, when I went back to my house, I continued to pray so harder. And that is when a miracle happened. Oh, glory to God. Blessed be the name of our Lord Jesus. You don't even understand favor. It was even the favor of God that came upon your life that you can even go back to your house and pray like never before. You cannot even recognize favor where it is coming from. That's why there are blessings that are cut short. Because we don't understand the favor that comes from God. Favor is not just a statement. Let me tell you, child of God, I have lived in this world and nobody could call me. Nobody could call me, I'm telling you. Calling me for what? The only people who used to call me by then, it is either they want me to help them, they want me to solve a problem, hallelujah, but there is no one who, who could ever call you and they'd be like, oh, we have been thinking about you, hallelujah. That's why there's a time when we met with my wife, I was like, oh, I have never received such a treatment, hallelujah. Somebody who asks you, will you, will you eat? So, uh, someone who, who will uh, come and ask you, you know, um, honey, I have prepared, you know, um, dinner. Please, could you come and enjoy dinner with me? Please, would you sit uh, uh, by the dining table so that we can have a meal? Hey. I saw the favor of God. And that's why one day I was telling my wife, okay, I have never uh, experienced this kind of love. And I'm telling you, with this kind of love that I'm experiencing here, there's no way I'm going to go. I'm not leaving. Hallelujah. Don't joke with favor. Favor can position you in a place that God wants you to be. That's what I'm talking about. Hallelujah. Some of you have never experienced true love for maybe somebody else. But the favor of God is going to go and position you in a place of love. Hallelujah. That is what normally happens. 
That's what I'm talking about, Harley. So I just want to let everybody know that when we are talking about favor, favor is more than your expensive car. Favor is more than an expensive house. Hallelujah. Favor is more, you know, more important than your mansion. Hallelujah. Let me tell you, child of God, favor of the Lord, when it comes, it comes to stay for a lifetime. That's a, let me tell you, child of God. Seek for favor. If God has favored you, I'm telling you, even mountains are going to bow down before you. If the favor of God is upon you, let me uh, read for you this scripture. Hallelujah. For his anger is, but for a moment, God can become angry. Hallelujah. And, you know, after two hours, he's going to forgive you. But his favor is for life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. His favor is for a lifetime. That's why let me tell you, child of God, don't you ever joke with people, don't you ever joke with people who, who have inherited the favor of God, hallelujah, they may not look like it. They may not walk like it, hallelujah. But let me tell you, child of God, there is always a reason as to why God is keeping them the way he's keeping them. Maybe the favor of God is just getting multiplied, hallelujah. When you see an empty jerrycan and you just align it in front of a tap, maybe a, a, a water tap or something like that. It will take time to be filled. It will take time to be filled. So when it, it, it becomes full, there will be an overflow. That is when it, it will give you a signal that now you, you, you should come and tie the water, the water tap, hallelujah. So now there are people right now, you are in a process. God is filling you with his favor. Hallelujah. Don't give up on worshiping God. Don't give up on giving. Don't give up on building the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Don't give up on continuing to do good. Hallelujah. The time that that favor will come to overflow. Mm. Glory to God. Hallelujah. There are miracles. There are doors that are going to be opening for you. Even when you are prayed, even if when you have not prayed, there are doors that are going to drastically continue to open for you. That is something that I understand for a fact. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Can somebody type and say, Lord, today, allow me to understand favor. David was favored in the eyes of God. Why? Because there was a connection. There was a connection in his heart. His heart was directly connected to God. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something, people of God. One thing that I have come to find out in this world. Like now, uh, I have my brother here all the way from uh, uh, Cape Town, uh, uh, South Africa. Uh, my brother apostle cheslin thank you so much for watching hallelujah i remember when we traveled to uh, uh south africa and there's a place that we went to but uh you know we we, we did not feel we did not feel welcomed we did not feel uh you know happy in that place because everything you know you know when, when a man of god goes to a place i'm telling you you can sense if this place, uh, you know, uh, whether you have been honored or not, you can know. So, when we were seated there stranded and we did not even know where to go. So, that is when the Spirit of the Lord ministered to me. Oh, there is a servant of God. There is a woman of God. You once prayed together. Please, can you contact her? I want to appreciate God for the woman of God. Uh, Pastor Shireen, thank you so much. So, when I contacted uh, 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 Pastor Shireen, 
she was like okay mm -mm. just talk to my husband right now so what happened is that she said okay let me talk to you uh, let me let me let me talk to my husband then you talk to my husband so when we talked i'm telling you apostle uh cheslin he was like you guys where are you where are you where are you please so he started making arrangements he started making arrangements and you know so we we got away from that place and we went to another place and i'm telling you we enjoyed the best of all our time in south africa because the favor of god was with us my brother in christ my sister in christ apostle cheslin pastor sharon god bless you so much and i release the same favor upon your life even up to today you have never left our lips we always talk about you we always honor god that is what favor can do and some of you have not received the favor that comes from god hallelujah simply because you have never favored nobody That's why sometimes I'm so keen whenever a man of God comes into my life. It can either be a test. Some of you, I'm on this platform, you are watching me, but God is busy testing you. Will you favor this man of God? Will you favor this grace? Hallelujah. In the book of Exodus, chapter 3, verse number 21, the Bible says, And I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. The other Bible say, in the sight of the, of, of, of the enemies. Hallelujah. And it shall be, when you go, that you shall not go empty-handed. When you are not favored of the Lord, you live an empty life. That's what I'm talking about. But the Israelites, the Israelites, hallelujah. Now, God, after giving a message for the elders of Israel, hallelujah, and the prediction that uh, Pharaoh will refuse their request for freedom, to worship God, hallelujah, God gives some predictions. This is what this scripture is all about, hallelujah. Now, God promises the Jews would have favor among the Egyptians, hallelujah. <laughs> hey. Do you know what it means to be favored in a land that you are persecuted from. And even as they left, and even as they were meant to leave, that same favor, hallelujah, God spoke it upon them that even wherever they will go, they will have that same favor. So let me tell you, child of God, it does not really matter what you're going through. It does not really matter the nature of your situation to God be the glory. Hallelujah. There is a glory that is going to come upon your life. It does not matter. Let me tell you, child of God, some of you don't really understand these things. All you do is to pray in, in the tongues. Hallelujah. Every time you wake up in the morning, Hallelujah. Sister, brother, you are going to get tired. Focus on the voice of God. That's what I'm talking about. Hallelujah. So, favor is a promise. 
favor is a promise it should not even be a prayer request because it is already a covenant that's why when the favor of the lord comes upon your life it comes to stay forever that's why let me tell you there are people you cannot go joke with them how where who are you there are people who are under a covenant the jews god predicted god knew that even in this land this guy called pharaoh he might not allow them even to worship god hallelujah but let me tell you child of god he knew that what he can do indirectly he is going to enforce his favor on his children that even when when they're in the land of captivity in the land that we are perse- they were persecuted from hallelujah the favor of god oh glory to god hallelujah will go with them and you cannot be having the favor of god hallelujah you cannot be with the favor of god and god is not with you I pray that may the favor of God locate you right now. I pray that the favor of God locate you right now. In the mighty wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. The miracle that you've been uh, waiting for. The, the grace that you've been waiting for. The expansion that you've been waiting for. The miracle signs and wonders that you've been waiting for. Hallelujah. Just call upon the favor that comes from god hallelujah because he can use either the east he can use either the west the north the south the central hallelujah to come and bless you in the name of our lord jesus christ to god be the glory. i declare and i decree that the face of god will begin to shine on you right about now whatever you lost may the lord give it back to you in jesus i pray and everyone shouted amen favor can speak in your times of silence favor can open you a door whenever you see that there is no open door and let me tell you child of god don't underestimate god in all your circumstances because it does not matter whether you're still in Egypt. It does not really matter whether you're still in your in your sinful life. Hallelujah. Favor can take you out of sin. Somebody can just come and speak to you. And they lead you to church. And they lead you into a world of salvation. That's favor. That's favor. How many people call you to appreciate you? Hallelujah. How many people call you to say, oh, we've been thinking about you and now we are here. Let me tell you, child of God, these are the things that are going to start happening. In Jesus, a holy name, to God be the glory. Amen and amen. There's a woman of God here by the name of Asalome Gray Worthy. The Lord is telling me to tell you that he is releasing healing upon your life in the name of our lord jesus Christ. if you can remember in the year of 1987 in the year of 1987 i see you uh you are still in a certain relationship but things did not go well hallelujah so a couple of times uh, many things have been coming into your life the devil has tried to steal away your peace hallelujah but guess what god is speaking to me and is telling me that whatever you lost all the way from 1987 hallelujah god is going to give it back to you in the name of jesus some of you you only need favor stop lying to yourself if god has not favored you hallelujah ah 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 it will continue to be a, a story to always tell every every the other day or every other day hallelujah so 
today understand favor from God. Favor is a, a covenant. Favor is a covenant. There's no way you can tell me that Abraham did not carry the favor of God. You cannot tell me, hallelujah, that David did not carry the favor of God. Hallelujah. You cannot tell me, you cannot convince me that Job did not carry the favor of God. Some of you are going to have a very good comeback. And this is going to be a sign that now the favor of God is upon you. That's why let me tell you, child of God, never fight a man, a woman, who is under a covenant. Apart from them, if they have not decided to give in, you cannot win them. You cannot win that battle. That's why even if a, a person is under a covenant of witch, witchcraft, if they have not decided, if they have not made up their minds to give their lives to Christ, let me tell you, however greatly you can be when it comes to anointing, you can pray for that person, but they can never be healed and delivered because they are still under a covenant. That's why sometimes you go and uh, preach to your uh, fellow uh, brothers and sisters that you know, I want you to become a born again. Let me tell you, child of God, there must be favor that will come and uh, get attached to those people. Because it is by favor, it is by grace, they can be able to confess salvation. Many people walk into... Uh, my office hallelujah and they say okay man of god i have a very stubborn young boy please could you pray for this stubborn young boy of mine to change his ways then you pray if the stubborn boy is not visited by the holy spirit maybe via in the dream you know via dreams or something like that i'm telling you they will continue to be stubborn but if the knowledge, the understanding, the favor of God that comes straight from heaven rests upon them, the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding to know Christ, to give their lives to Christ, will come upon them. Let me tell you, child of God, even the person that you see on your screen right now, hey, it was not easy, I'm telling you. It was not easy. It was not easy. I remember the first time I went to church. Ah, I was like wondering, oh, what is happening? Hallelujah, what is going on here? Mm. Oh, this is how people dance for the Lord. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Let me wait for people to say the grace, then we can take it from there another day i'm telling you the day that god now prepared me to go to church some other day i'm telling you up to today i'm counting almost you know 18 years ever since 18 years up to today i have never left serving god that's favor some of you are watching me you, you you are even more worse than me you are big-headed people whenever they tell you about church when your mother comes and tells you about church about god you'll be like who is that man mommy what what don't we have that we are going to churches to seek for can i ask you a question what didn't jesus have Jesus had it all, the healing, the deliverance, hallelujah, the anointing, the Holy Spirit, but still he served his father. 
Can someone shout and say glory to God? Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name. And everybody shouted amen. Remember to pray for our country, Kenya. There's a lot of things are happening right now. And the Lord is working miracles. I pray that everybody will be safe. I pray that your families will be safe. I pray that the angels of God will be rested into your families, into your businesses, into your careers, into uh, your churches as well. Let there be peace. Let there be angels of peace in Jesus' mighty name. And everybody shouted, Amen.